Lizzie, are you ready to help me clean these windows? Sure am. Cakey's not ready one bit. She's very sleepy. Bunnies. So I started off by doing my laundry. I had left it literally a week without doing any. I had to get so much done today, but I only showed one load of laundry in this video. And I have started using Unstoppables again. They're like these little scented things. They're like scent boosters, so they make your clothes smell really nice. And honestly, they make such a difference. I will try and purchase these whenever possible. I stopped using them like to save money, but I actually think it's worth it because it really does make a difference with the smell of your clothes. So for me, that was good. Um, also, I thought that in each cleaning video, I would give like a slight update on how my pregnancy is going, how the baby's doing. So I have a lot more energy than my first trimester and um, I'm into my second trimester now. I'm 23 weeks pregnant and yeah, I've got so much more energy than I have done before basically. I know it probably won't last but it's good. I feel less sick and the baby kicks a lot more. The baby kicks quite regularly throughout the day. I can just feel like little kind of kicks and pokes and yeah I, it's quite weird to think about really like something is actually kicking me like that just make me feel a bit weird but yeah so she's just playing around or whatever but she does sleep a lot as well um I assume unless she's just laid still but yeah I thought I'd give a little kind of baby update in each video that I do I'm just washing up and I got this washing up rack on the side and honestly that has changed well it's not changed my life but it's changed the way I wash up for better because it's very good for space in terms of getting enough stuff kind of stacked up and able to be washed so I would recommend getting one of those it was about £10 off Amazon <laughs> Considering I have a lot more energy, I'm going to try and post one cleaning video every single week. My aim is eventually to be able to post two or three videos a week and I don't know whether they'll be cleaning or not but probably um, be a mixture of kind of, you know, cleaning with a little bit of like lifestyle content within that video. But I do want to post more on here because I do love, you know, YouTube and I have been filming on YouTube for like... 10 years since I was 14. I had a channel before this one but one of my ex-boyfriends deleted it so that was fun um, but yeah I do love to film so I think I'll start posting more now I've got more energy and yeah it should be up on a Sunday at some point in the evening it depends what I'm doing that day and how long it takes me to edit but basically you should see this video on the day that I filmed it so today is Sunday and I filmed this I'm editing this on Sunday and I should be posting this on Sunday Day. so I want to keep it very kind of like fresh because I find that if I don't edit a video as soon as I filmed it then I won't edit it like I will just sit there for weeks and I won't edit it so I have to edit it immediately and trust me editing these cleaning videos takes ages I had 39 minutes of footage to cut down into 13 minutes um, which wasn't fun um, and I don't really enjoy editing but 
here we are. So uh, it's worth it in the end because I like to watch back like videos on YouTube that I've made because it's kind of like a, a documentary of my life, I guess. Um, but yeah, I was putting my washing outside today and yes, the thing fell over a few times, but never mind. And yeah, I cleaned as well. I cleaned my windows. They very much needed cleaning, especially in the living room because the dogs had been clawing at the windows in the living room, which you'll see in a minute, which meant that it's all kind of like little paw prints all over the window. And also Teddy will sit in the window and when he sees me come home from work or whatever, he gets really excited and he pees on the window. <laughs> so that definitely needed a good old clean. Instead of showing you my food shop, I thought I'd show you it in the fridge. I guess I know it's like a little bit dirty in the fridge, I can see that, but I will clean that another time. So on the top, there's dog food and things for a pizza. We're gonna make pizzas tonight, homemade pizzas. There's like spicy pepperoni and spicy chicken. We've got eggs and usually I don't necessarily keep eggs in the fridge, but for space reasons, um, my cupboards are full. <laughs> And I've got hummus, I've got these little dunkers from Aldi. By the way, most of this stuff is from Aldi um, that I take to work with me as a snack. We've got cheese for the pizzas later. This is like a little pot where I put stuff in for the rabbits and hamster. And then last week, me and Jamie made some cupcakes and we used this chocolate frosting. Here we have raspberries, broccoli, bananas, are the bunny's favorite so they can have them and peaches and then i've got potatoes i didn't realize when i bought them that they've got like red skin on them but that's just fine yeah <laughs> it's not anything weird. weird yeah um and then mushrooms and then in here there's kiwi more broccoli white onion peppers just a random mixture of things and then we've got a salad bag in here, tomatoes, uh, red onion and oranges. And then, well, so that's the main part. Uh, wasp. Are you scared? Wasp. He's scared of wasps. <laughs> I'm not scared. Um, and then in this section, just got some cheese slices, um, sandwich pickle, jam, pesto. Jamie likes pesto now. Um, cheeses, and then here, salad cream, custard, mayonnaise, um, balsamic drizzle, that's good for salads, um, tomato puree, and then I've got milk, and then I have a bit of a, this smoothie every single morning, um, just because when I wake up in the morning, I usually feel sick because of the baby, and this helps me. So yeah, that's the fridge. So that's what the fridge looks like. So another thing that I'm going to do today is I'm going to organise my spare bedroom. That is going to be like the baby's room slash all the stuff for the baby because I have a lot of stuff. There's going to be like the changing table, wardrobe space, a cupboard, like storage, pushchair, everything like that is going to be in that room. So I'm just going to organise what's in there so far. So... This is a room we always keep closed because I don't want the dogs to pee in here because for some reason they like to pee in here. Um, other than that, they're quite good. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of random stuff in here, like really, really, really random. Oh, that's where all my socks are. I forgot about them. Um, but this is Teddy's bed he sleeps on at night. Um, so I can kind of, I don't know where to keep that. I think I can still keep that in here. 
Um, but there's sort of Jamie's kids stuff in here. There's some pet stuff. There's a bottle of vodka randomly um, and cleaning things and stuff like that. So I'm just going to have a little organise of that now. So I was just trying to get rid of everything in this room that I didn't need. And I don't mean throw it out. I mean put it somewhere else. So I moved all my cleaning stuff into a different wardrobe and I just kind of tried to save space wherever possible but I didn't want to make this spare room the dumping room because it's not a spare room anymore it's the baby's room so I needed to make sure that everything that goes into this room is related to the baby because otherwise I just end up putting loads of crap in here I had so much difficulties trying to get this grow up um but I even cut off like most of the footage because it took me ages but I did get there eventually He just peed on the floor. Couple of toys. Out. What's he doing? Oh. Out. Stay out. He's peed. Couple of toys I'm gonna put around the room to make it look more like a kid's room. I decided to put a little book up on the windowsill just to kind of tie the theme of the room in with babies and just like a little toy, like a cuddly toy. And I just thought that was so cute because this is kind of like the first time I've just actually started to do this room. Um, I didn't know where to put the crib, but it doesn't matter because it will end up next to my bed anyway. But I did move it into the middle of the room and I put that kind of car mat play thing down as well just to make it look like a kid's room. The room still needs obviously loads more stuff. We've got loads of clothes, so I need a wardrobe to put the clothes in um, and also shelves and things. But so far we've got the crib, which won't, the, obviously that teddy is not gonna be in the crib. I just put it in there for now. But the crib will be next to our bed, but in the day it can stay here and like loads of other stuff in. This mat is for Jamie's son. Um, so if he ever comes over, he can play on that. But it's just cute to have it in the middle of the room anyway. So this is the room for now and maybe every week there'll be something I can add to it, I'm not sure. So this is now the end of the video. We just finished off, well not finished off the day, but we had lunch, we had picnic out at the park with the doggies, Cupcake and Teddy came with us. So yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video, which should be next Sunday. And I hope you have a great week. Goodbye.